So I wanted to learn a couple techniques to help like resolve some of this pain and discomfort. Do you have any suggestions for what I should do? Yeah, there are a few techniques that you can do yourself at home to help with engorgement. Um, one of the techniques that we use, especially before trying to latch an infant, would be something called reverse pressure softening. And okay. what you do, and you can do this with your hand or your a provider or helper could do this, you're, you're gonna put gentle, firm pressure around the nipple over the areola. Yeah, exactly, you can do it like that. You can use both hands mm -hmm. and, and do it, or you can use one hand technique and do that. And you're gonna hold that pressure for 30 seconds to a minute and the idea would be it re relieves some of the swelling in mm -hmm. here and that allows the baby to more easily get latched on. Good, okay. And I'm noticing that while you're doing that pressure, you yeah. actually are getting some uh, expression of colostrum, which is a good thing. Colostrum is a very dense, high protein substance that your body produces for the first two to three days prior to transitioning into milk production and it's very, very good for the baby. Yeah, I see that my skin dimpled here where I was holding, holding it. Pressure. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's good. Okay. All right, so I'll just keep holding this at home for mm -hmm. about 30 seconds. And that's particularly helpful right before latch okay. because it makes this tissue softer and easier for the baby to latch onto. Okay. Um, another technique is lymphatic drainage massage. And the idea- What's lymphatic? So the lymphatic system throughout our whole body helps um, remove fluid mm -hmm. as well as other toxins. Is that like lymph nodes? Yes. Okay. And so you have a lot of lymph nodes in your armpit. That's because your lymphatic system from the breast drains up into the mm -hmm. armpit and also into this area but the primary drainage mm -hmm. is into the armpit. So when we're doing that, we're gonna have you somewhat reclined and at home you could even lie flat. Mm -hmm. And it's a very kind of gentle kind of massaging that, that encourages fluid to drain out of the breast because this engorgement is due to extra fluid in the breast. Mm. It's not milk? No, nope, it's not milk. milk coming in. It's a combination of mm. milk and a lot of extra fluid. Okay. And what happens is the extra fluid it fills all this interstitial tissue and it can actually cause so much swelling that it can impede the milk leaving the ducts. Oh. So if we can get some of this extra fluid out here, you'll feel less pain and actually get better milk. Okay. Emptying. And you can do that. So do I just kind of use- Two hands, yeah. Okay, so I should probably do this then, right? And just kind of, mm -hmm. yeah, it's- A little awkward It's for you awkward, to do yeah. Yourself, but yeah. But I guess I could try doing it this way. Is it okay mm -hmm. that I have, that I'm not raising this arm? It's okay. And again, at home you might be more reclined and it might mm -hmm. actually be easier for you. Okay. Yeah, I can try that as well. And then there's another technique that actually may actually be easier for you with using both hands. Mm -hmm. Kind of, we cup the breast and um, kind of gently, but firmly. And what's the point of this? We're sort of um, moving the breast across the pectoralis muscle and actually opening up the lymphatic drainage mm. and encouraging fluid to flow. Let me see if I can try that on this side. So I'm going to hold the breast firmly like this mm -hmm. and then just kind of slide it all the way up into my armpit? Yep. Okay. Yeah, I can kind of start, I can feel the, the relief already. Yeah. Okay, so how many times a day should I be doing this? Um, well, it can be done several times a day. Um, like I said, the reverse pressure softening is very good to do before feeding, especially when okay. you're going to be doing many feedings in a day. Okay. Um, uh, so doing it before feeding is a good idea to try to have less engorgement and less pain prior to feedings. Okay, that sounds good. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome.